गाइस माय नेम इज अंकुश गौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू कॉन टू सीरीज इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी कैन लर्न हाउ टू हैंडल एक्सेप्शंस इन अ स्प्रिंग एम्बेसी फैब एप्लीकेशन सो इन जनरल व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन योर स्प्रिंग एम्बेसी एप्लीकेशन थ्रोस सम एक्स वाई जी एक्सेप्शन विदाउट हैविंग एनी कोड टू हैंडल दैट लेट्स चेक इट आउट when the user request for this web page this method in this controller class gets executed and this web page is sent to the user as a response so if everything goes fine on the server while processing this request user is uh, going to get this web page as a response now due to some developers mistake or some other reason if while processing the request this method throws some exception say null pointer resource not found or any other what's going to happen what user is going to get in that case as a response as an example let's consider a case when it's going to throw null pointer exception for this user's request so here now after adding this code snippet in this method when i would request for this web page this method is going to throw null pointer exception and important point to note is nowhere in this controller class i am handling null pointer exception so now when i would request for admission form web page what's going to happen what i would get as a response let's check it out oops it has sent this error web page on this page it's talking about three important things on top it has mentioned http status code as 500 then the brief description of the error which occurred on the server and related stack trace information here as normally when any exception occurs for which there is no exception handling code written in the controller class the application by default sends an error web page like this now many times developers would like to send a customized error web page instead of this default error web page which doesn't seem so much user friendly so question is what tasks i will need to perform in this application so that i would be able to send a customized error web page when this method would throw null pointer exception while processing the request guys to tackle this requirement i just need to perform these two simple steps and i will be done first i need to include an error web page in the application null pointer exception.jsp page which i would like to show to the user when uh, get admission form method would throw null pointer and second i would need to include a method in the student admission controller.java class which has exception handler annotation on top of it like this so let me very quickly make uh, all these changes in the application and uh, show you the concept of working on the browser and later i would explain these two steps in detail all right so here i have included null pointer exception dot jsp page with this content and here in the controller class that is in the student admission controller dot java where this method is present i am here adding a method handle null pointer exception with exception handler annotation on top of it and value as null pointer exception dot class pass to it as a parameter and here it's returning the view name that is null pointer exception this jsp web page so here i'm done with making these two changes which are required now let us see this concept working on the browser and later we would understand in detail what these two changes mean to us cool so this time the application didn't send us the default error web page and instead send this customized error web page means the content of null point exception dot jsp web page now let's understand what exactly happened here this time when i requested for this web page get admission form 
method through null pointer exception here and immediately after that Spring MVC framework started looking for a method in the same controller class which has exception handler annotation on top of it and value as null pointer exception dot class because we provided such a method in this controller class so Spring MVC simply transferred the control of execution to this method and here this method returned null point exception view name means this JSP page as a result I got the content of null point exception dot JSP web page like this because here an important point to note is in this controller class we are handling only null pointer exception so if this method throws any other exception at runtime while processing the request you know like io exception arithmetic exception means the exception for which we have not put any exception handler method the application is going to send the default error web page to the user as a response as we saw in case of null point exception before putting exception handler method for it in this controller class so very quickly let's uh, see it with io exception so if this method throws io exception for which we have not written exception handler method let's see what happens cool as expected it threw this http status 500 error web page means the default error web page now to tackle this problem again we need to follow the same steps as we followed in case of null pointer exception so here i have added io exception dot jsp web page with this content which i would want to send to the user in case of io exception and here in the controller class the way we added exception handler method for null pointer exception i would add a method for io exception which returns io exception means this web page so now if I request for this same web page, let's see what happens. Cool. As expected, I got the customized error web page for IO exception. So the idea is very clear. Whatever exceptions you think the controller class can throw at runtime while processing the user's requests, you simply go on adding exception handler methods for all those exceptions. Now, an important point to note here is your controller class might throw a lot of exceptions at runtime and it may not be so convenient for you to write exception handler method for each exception so to tackle such a problem what we can do we can add a generic exception handler method in this controller class such that when this controller class throws some exception for which spring mvc framework doesn't find related exception handler method then it would go on searching for generic exception handler method and if it find it there it would simply go on executing that so question is how we can add such method in this controller class the way to add such method is just this an exception handler method which has value equal to exception dot class is known as generic exception handler method so here it's returning exception view so here i would add exception dot gsp page means this one let's check it out so now if this controller class throws some exception for which there is no related exception handler method present then spring mvc framework would go on executing this generic exception handler method so here if this method throws automatic exception at runtime and there is no exception handler method for automatic exception here then spring mvc framework should execute this method let's check it out cool the application has sent this customized error web page when it threw automatic exception here by executing this generic exception handler method all right guys 
In the next tutorial, we'll learn how to handle exceptions globally at one place for all controller classes without writing exception handler methods individually in all controller classes. All right, guys, a big thank you for learning Spring MVC with me. If you have any feedback or comments, please provide them below the video or simply write to me on this email ID for all of your queries. Please hit the like button if you really liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Con2Series and I'm going to catch you in the next part of this tutorial.